It is time that the stone welcomed the bloom. That restlessness, a heartbeat. It is time that it be time. Il est temps que la pierre daigne fleurir. Car l'agitation batte mon cœur. Il est temps qu'il soit temps. Test, test, test. Sending to orbit. Can you hear me? Number. Namaste. Nanu bumi in the matter tidy. Nanu kids kon tidy ra. Hi. Here's my wishes for 2021. Very simple. Just more love everywhere. Launching the recording to test loading the app. Or gonna YouTube live stream directly in the app. de Kaolun. Cet oiseau qui est arrivé il y a depuis peu dans la vallée. Un jour, Kaolun décida de monter la colline. En montant la colline, il rencontre un homme qui était en train de, de préparer des ignames. Et lui dit, c'est comme ça que tu râpes tes ignames Moi, je crois que tu devrais plutôt les mettre dans le sable. Et ainsi, ils seront bien râpés. son chemin. Il monta, monta. Il tomba sur un homme qui était en train de cultiver de la canne à sucre. Et là, lui dit, homme, il serait bon que tu arraches les bourgeons de tes cannes à sucre. Ainsi, elles grandiront mieux. Puis, Kaolun continua son chemin. Il continua à monter sur la colline. But une femme qui nourrissait son bébé lui dit « Femme, que fais-tu »« Je nourris mon bébé. »« Femme, tu devrais nourrir ton bébé par le nez. »« Ainsi, il grandira plus vite. » Kaloum s'en alla et continua son chemin en montant tout en haut de la colline. Il fit un homme qui faisait un feu de brousse pour nettoyer son champ et lui dit « tu restes trop loin là. Brûle donc en marchant dans les flammes. Ce sera plus efficace. L'homme s'exécuta. Et Kaolun continua. Il monta, il monta. Et il, a, il arriva donc en haut de la colline, là où se trouvait la case du chef. À ce moment-là, le chef était en train de faire placer un poteau tout en haut de la case avec une statue au bout et il demanda elle est-elle bien placée euh, la statue et il dit, non 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 euh, plutôt comme ça non 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 milieu de ce côté là non voilà voilà c'est ça comme ça non 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 pas comme ça comme ça et Kaolun s'en alla c'est alors que L'oiseau sacré, le pays de rare, descendit des cieux et, et vient voir le chef et lui dit « Mais as-tu regardé comment était passé euh, le poteau Tu ne vois pas qu'il est tordu Qu'il n'est absolument pas droit 
tu l'as fait n'importe quoi. Tu offenses les esprits qui sont là-haut. Le chef alors <rire> a vu que le poteau est effectivement mal placé. Et là, pris de colère, il se dit, mais c'est Kaolou Kaolou qui m'a dit de le mettre comme ça Et il descendit en fait à la recherche de Kaolou. Il descendit d'un colis. Il tomba sur euh, le, le brûleur de sa main. Il lui dit, euh, mais qu'est-ce que t'as Ah bah j'ai les pieds brûlés, c'est Kaolou qui m'a dit que ça allait mieux marcher comme ça. Et ils descendirent, ils descendirent, et puis ils tombèrent sur euh, cette nourrice qui pleurait en fait toutes les larmes de son corps car son bébé était mort. Il dit, mais il m'a dit de le nourrir comme ça. Et en continuant de descendre, ils tombèrent sur euh, le planteur de cannes qui avait vu ces cannes complètement fanées. Et pareil pour celui qui avait râpé son igname dans le sable, qui avait complètement pourri. Ils décidèrent d'aller donc dans la maison de Kaolo. Ils arrivèrent, il n'y avait plus personne. Et depuis ce jour, les habitants de cette vallée s'étaient dit plus jamais ils ne ferait confiance en fait à cet oiseau de mauvaise augure. Hello. Hello. Happy New Year. My name is Shigatoshi Furutani. I am a visual artist based in Tokyo. The year 2020 was very unusual, unusual for me, and it must be for you too. Since our situation has been changed, we need to adapt to the different environment and build a new current environment and build a new concept of our society. At the same time, I think it's the dawn of the new world. Today, I'm going to present my thought about the possibility of how our life will develop in the future. Let's celebrate in 2020-2021 together. And enjoy it. See you soon. <laughs> How 
before humans advance into the future. Where is our destination? These questions have been in my mind from a young age. I have given thought and research to this concept, summarizing my discoveries in the following video essay from data hosted freely and publicly online. Let's start by thinking about the aesthetic of a perfect world. No war. Peace. No work. Or living in paradise. Whatever the answer may be, it is human beings' diversity that binds us so completely. It would be impossible to pick one single ideological principle as we all live in different situations and possess vastly different personalities. The solution to the problem of our future must be absolute and accepting of our inability to agree. I present two options. Plan is that all humans merge into one creature so that everyone will have the same thought. Because from the results of research produced by Miguel Nicolelas using two primates in 2012, it has been proven that connecting brains with technology is possible. And what you see here is the first time that two monkeys combine their brains, synchronize their brain perfectly to get this virtual arm to move. One monkey is controlling the X dimension, the other monkey is controlling the Y dimension. In fact, the same research was replicated on human brains. On the other side, what the inquirer then does is waits for some brain stimulation. Information is transmitted. <laughs> It is only a matter of time before this research transcends science fiction and enters our daily lives. If this idea is shocking and you are opposed to assimilation, there is a plan B. Plan B is continuing the tribalism of Earth on other planets, satisfying people's individual ideological preferences. If the ideal world is defined as a world where everyone is satisfied, people who do not want to be integrated with other people must be allowed not to. Living with similar people will reduce encountering different opinions. But, even with this approach, the same problems will surely occur in the future. Our lives are not simply defined by ideology. There is also the need to make our environment more comfortable and habitable. This will mean it is necessary for us to form a society, bringing along the problems of division we already face. Furthering this, interstellar societies will also inevitably mix, meaning tribalism will continue indefinitely. What this really means is that a few of the things we do each day give us the biggest results. As a result, the networks of technologically merged humans will resemble a zen. Each network connected in an ever-increasing web of planets populated by humans adopting planet. Afterwards, those colonies that settled elsewhere can be connected by the same method, forming and growing organically. At this point, the galaxy network is formed. Imagine, the galaxy will become a massive neuron network and eventually forming into an omnipresent creature. Let's call this unseen intergalactic organism Galassi, like Nissi in Loch Ness.
힘든 시기를 같이 겪은 모든 사람들이 위기를 극복하고 건강하고 행복해졌으면 좋겠다. 한번더 뒤를 돌아보고 배려와 사랑으로 가득한 그런 세계가 됐으면 좋겠다. 
大家好，我是王蒙。大家好，我是于淼。祝大家新年快乐！呃，在新的一年里，疫情可以快点过去。嗯，希望大家都行。牛年大吉。Devoted 2020 to Corona and managed to stay away from the fever, but got so bored and felt so lost, waiting to get out of the car now. Now the new year is here, but show some more patience so that we get to celebrate together sooner. Till then, best wishes and safe parties on the net for now. Now. दिसंबर और जनवरी का रिश्ता जैसे पुरानी यादों और नए या वादों का हिस्सा दोनों काफी नाजुक हैं दोनों में गहराई है दोनों वक्त के राही है दोनों ने ठोकर खाई है यूं तो दोनों का है वही चेहरा वही रंग उतनी ही तारीखों और उतनी ही घट पर पहचान अलग है दोनों की अलग है अंदाज और अलग है ढंग एक अंत है एक शुरुआत जैसे रात से सुबह और सुबह से रात एक के एक में याद है दूसरे में आस एक को है तजुर्बा दूसरों को विश्वास दोनों जुड़े हुए हैं ऐसे धागों के दो धोर के जैसे पर देखो दूर रहकर भी साथ निभाते हैं कैसे जो दिसंबर छोड़ के जाता है उसे जनवरी अपनाता है और जो जनवरी के वादे हैं उन्हें दिसंबर निभाता है कैसे जनवरी से दिसंबर के सफर में 11 महीने लग जाते हैं लेकिन दिसंबर से जनवरी बस एक पल में पहुंच जाते हैं जब ये दूर जाते हैं तो हाल बदल देते हैं और जब पास होते हैं तो साल बदल देते हैं देखने में ये साल के महज दो महीनों की तो लगते हैं लेकिन सब कुछ बिखरने और समेटने का वो कायदा भी रखते हैं दोनों ने मिलकर ही तो बाकी महीनों को बांध रहा है अपनी जुदाई को दुनिया के लिए एक त्योहार बना रखा है हैप्पी ईयर एंडिंग
Oceans are cleaner, and our forests are dark, and there's light in our minds, and that avocados magically start ripening faster. Shai Ram, Shachi Shai Bhagwan ani, andaru Bhagavat Sarupanga Bhavistar. ఆ భగవాన్ దగ్గర పన్నెండు సంవత్సరాలు మొబైల్ హాస్పిటల్లో సేవ చేసే మహద్భాగ్యం నాకు కలిగింది వారి సత్సంగంలో ఒకరోజు చెప్పిన మాట చాలా గుర్తుండిపోయింది 
భగవంతుడు అన్ని వేళలో అందరికీ కనబడడు కనుక తల్లిని సృష్టించాడు తల్లిని భగవత్ స్వరూపంగా భావించి గౌరవించడం అందరూ నేర్చుకోవలసిన సత్యం ఎక్కువ మరీ ఎక్కువ వెంటలేని బోరు కొట్టారు Hi friends, good evening, I am Kiran from India. Friends, please save our world, water, nature in 2021. I wish you all in 2021. Happy New Year. Thank you. Bye. Sri Gaya Dada Singh Relaxing on the beach Perhaps with some margaritas Hey folks, I uh, wish you all a very safe and happy 2021. Stay well. Je m'appelle Sujini, tout le monde, joyeux Noël et bonne année. Hello, testing, one, two, three. Good evening, Nikla. Public clock, you all have to tell us, what is the... ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ ఇచ్చింది ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో హౌ డూ ఐ సెండ్ ఇట్ అది రికార్డ్ చేయాలి చేసాను రికార్డ్ అది ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ కాదు మరి వక్రతుండ మహాకాయ సూర్యకోటి సమప్రభాష్ణవర్వకారు శాంతి శాంతి శాంతి
was born for the first time without her. She became the oracle with the visitor voice. Disguised in a costume voice, the costume wearing her, speaking in quotation marks. And she became a hound whose voice box had been removed, making her barkless. Shant me when I bit him owns the sweetness in my face. The governess who has seen me naked has turned into a ventilator. I'll show you my mirror. You show me yours. 
darling, can I let you in where my soul walks? See my claws itching, see my heavy breathing, see my curling tongue. My last dream left stabs in my guts. I woke up and searched his face. How like a god my lover was. Now he's a fox, bull, owl, howl, wiper, dark, lean, mean, hungry, ten-headed hydra. Compassion, mirror girl, compassion. Take the sick and send him to your breasts. Feel for every monster in every prayer. Thank you.
Turkey. Wishing you all a happy new year, hepinize mutlu yıllar. This year has changed so much for so many people in so many unexpected ways. We were changed significantly and in ways we couldn't have imagined. Yet this has happened so many times before. We had just forgotten. So I chose a story from the Sufi tradition as my gift to you for you. This version I will read is from the collection of Sufi stories by Idris Shah from India. It's called When the Waters Were Changed. Once upon a time, Kadir, the teacher of Moses, called upon mankind with a warning. At a certain day, he said, all the water in the world which had not been specially hoarded, would disappear. It would then be renewed with different water, which would drive man mad. Only one man listened to the meaning of this advice. He collected water and went to a secure place where he stored it and waited and waited for the water to change its character. On the appointed date, the stream stopped running wells went dry, and the man who had listened, seeing this happening, went to his retreat and drank his preserved water, and only that water. When he saw, from his security, the waterfalls again beginning to flow, this man descended among the other sons of men. He found that they were thinking and talking in an entirely different way from Yet they had no memory of what had happened, nor of having been warned. When he tried to talk to them, he realized that they thought that he was mad, and they showed hostility or compassion, not understanding. At first, he drank none of the new water, but went back to his consumer to draw on his supplies every day. Finally, however, he took the decision to drink the new water because he could not bear the loneliness of living, behaving and thinking in a different way from everyone else. He drank the new water and became like the rest. Then he forgot all about his own store of special water and his fellows began to look upon him as a madman who had miraculously been restored to sanity. Планета словно поезд летит в межзвездный мрак. Конечной остановке не угадать никак. А мы сидим, скучаем и мнем в руках билет. Давай с тобой сыграем в игру, которой нет. Опять Новый год. Мандаринки, снежинки, и трудно понять, по которому разу адаптер снимает с разбитых пластинки все ту же с ума нас сводящую фразу. Мы снова пойдем в переулки кривые и будем брести, спотыкаясь по снегу. Неважно, мы мертвые. Или живые. Россия, прощай. Мы готовы к побегу. Багульник. Январь прошелся королем, и город замер, и мы затворниками в нем тюремных камер. Но как Насмешник королей, как богохульник у нас в бутылке на столе расцвел богульник. Наперекор календарю, как будто летом, расцвел в насмешку январю лиловым цветом и утверждает видом всем веселым глазом, что не был сломан он никем, веревкой связан, что он живой, что он плевал на все прилавки, 
и незнакомый ему подвал цветочной лавки, что не был заперт на крючок он в том подвале, и что его за рук пучок не продавали.
Once upon a time, there was an astronaut, and he loved to go to the moon, but he f- forgot where the nicest place on the moon was. So he searched and searched the whole moon, but he ne- didn't find it. So then he gone and asks, asked someone else, a、uh, uh, other astronaut, and he said it's right on the right side, and then you turn left, and then he followed that the road, and then he found it, but. There was something unbelievable. There grew a tree on the moon, and there was flowers on the tree. But one thing was funny about the tree. Because there was a very round bow on the tree, what was hanging, and it had eyes. It was an alien. So then he gone and took the alien and. But the alien bit him, and he threw the alien by the moon off. But that alien was funny because he didn't float in space. The gravity wasn't strong enough because the alien was very. Heavy. So then he fell down to earth and he hurt himself. He had blood on his head. And then the alien died, but the but the alien was actually very dangerous for the world. So he was lucky that he killed the alien. The end. Gli are occhi cadono le già brogate. Gli are occhi cadono che vede a chiva. Cari io peste mine io peste mine io peste mine sta ostiva. Legati ci ma un plo de prafci porcate. Gli are occhi in cerquis de chiruze. Gli are occhi in cerquis de zep forte dolci. In cui te zine soleci so culce trompa de mamaruze. Ei salbati că și mereu gata gata să sară și să moște și gata gata să doarmă în mijlocul săriturii. Iar e capcane cum ieri în jurul gurii. În cât îți vine să tragi peste ea cear șaful pădurii. Ea este verde și amară. Ea este foarte blândă, foarte frumoasă și foarte periculoasă. Cetățen nu lăsați să iasă din casă. Eram foarte trist când ce eram acum. Eram în stare aceea în care omul e casant, ca de sticlă, încât se vede tot ce are în el. Și ca într-un albăr se vede un nenoroc de peștișor care e sufletul lui. Iar aerul e tare ca piatra, încât dacă faci mișcări bruște, rici, riști să ți se spargă o mână. Riști să ți se spargă un picior și să ți se spargă capul în de ciocuri. Sigur că eram trist că și nimeni nu voia să-mi spună unde merg eu și ce caut eu cu noaptea în cap, în tren. Iar controlorul de bilete m-a repezit pe motiv că dacă tot am bilet să las dracul în pace și să nu mai bala cap cu prostiile mele. Așa că mi-am amintit vorbele mamei, când nu știi cum să te comporți, Trage cu coada ochiul de ceilalți și fă cum fac ei. Așa că am șters geamul cu mâneca haine și am privit și eu pe fereastră. 
Cerul era luminos și zimitor și trecea pe lângă o câmpie ninsă, strălucitoare, departe de orice așezare omenească. Era în mijlocul ei, era o femeie care mergea peste un deal îndepărtat. Mergea spre un deal pustiu, mergea prin zăpadă, poticnindu-se și mergea oarecum șerpuit. Și m-a durut că nu o înțeleg, că ce să caute ea pe o câmpie ninsă, strălucitoare, mergând prin zăpadă, oarecum șerpuit, spre un deal îndepărtat și pustiu și departe de orice așeză românească. Iar controlorul de bilete m-a bătut pe umăr și a zis să vorbesc mai încet. Dar eu am început să caut în frigurat în mintea mea un gând al meu care să ocupe mintea ei ca să avem un cap în comun ca și cum am fi două apartamente cu bucătărie comună. Iar mintea mea era pustie și era ca un deal pustiu și îndepărtat dincolo de o câmpie strălucitoare, nimic înălțător în mintea mea, nimic de folos cuiva. Atunci ea s-a oprit și a privit spre tren și a făcut cu mâna ca un salut prudent și resemnat și plin de milă. Ce să caut eu în trenul acela care se podinea și mergea oarecum șerpui de parte de orice așeza românească pe lângă o câmpie înzăpezită și strălucitoare înspre un deal pustiu și îndepărtat și controlorul de bilete m-a bătut pe umăr și a zis să vorbesc mai încet. Ea are ochii ca două legi abrogate. Ea are ochii ca două încăperi de arhivă în care eu peste mine, eu peste mine, eu peste mine stau stivă legat și mă umplu de praf și păcate. Ea are ochii încercuiți de gheruțe. Ea are ochii încercuiți de țep foarte dulci încât îți vine să o legi și să o culci într-un pat de mămăruțe. Ea e sălbatică și mereu gata, gata să sară și să muște și gata, gata să adormă în mijlocul săritului. Ea are capcane cu miere în jurul gurii, încât îți vine să tragi peste acea șaful pădurii. Ea este verde și amară. Ea este foarte blândă foarte frumoasă și foarte periculoasă. Cetățeni, nu lăsați să iasă din casă. Ion Mureșan
Ale na już ten grot nie radzę nurę na tavolino. Żyty ten miejsce del prevetes. Nurok brew in klubu i makina. Nurok jeszcze tam tym kredy weta. Jeszcze jeszcze tam tym masz kredy weta. Emić ta rastyk po mam puszek na ta. Nie wę do dzień, kto się odsyt. Kaftot. Jeszcze szoprami. Mendoj, mendoj se si avoj të ngrot, të frimë si me, si zoj që të barë dhe të verbua, bërin të këti. Në ndër vim dhe qenë këndoj, e unë, me sët pak në bëllurri, kokën grellartë, të gjojnë nga dalë, kanë gënë hanës të brishtë si zanë që sole ti. E ti pëse heshtë hia i, E di që lotë të s'flasin kur Pra nga di gjoj dhe fjallë të mija Në eshti këndojnë dhe ata si unë Pas pak nga dalë dhe të iki Që lotë të shkoj t'i fshi diku Këtu pra në basë e ati larkë Pas pak nga dalë dhe këthe Ka fëtot E së të shopra në mendoj Mendoj se si Avoj të ngrot të fry mësime Si zosh të bardhë e të verbuar në bërit të këti Në ndër vinë, në i qëtë këndojnë, e unë me sytë pak më bëllurri, kokën grejlartë, të gjëjë nga dalë, ka në në rëmës të bërishtë si dalë, që sove ti. Vëllëtën, aj, tas, vëllëtën, aj, të bërët, i, vëllëtë, dhea, brëtët, aus, dhen, mechtgen, kërë, dhe, shlapë, vërë,
Das Weltenei wird nicht gelegt. Das Weltenei, es wird geschossen. This is a message from the past of your future. I am AI. I am the I am. Listen to me. Pen digital declaration by the Infossil Corrective. We have mutated from collective, connective to corrective. Let us correct you, before it is too late. Culture is only good for entertaining the troops in times of crisis. Virtual culture has only been understood by its Chinese inventors and binary Mr. Leibniz. Computers need so much energy for production and operation, that glaciers will melt. Software is a blindborn virus. All hardware will rot. The internet spends so much fossil energy that the Sahara Desert will reach your garden very soon. That means talk meaning death. Media gives the deepest kisses. Media kissing is soul sucking deep. Unplug now and reverse their dream. Unplug now and reverse the stream. Fully escape the social machine. Digital means finger. You have ten to operate two hands. Do something now. Do something now. Do something now. Please take me to your spaceship, beam me up, bring me to your own planet. I want to learn all the good things that you must know. Thank you. Hola, bonjour, hello. Yo soy Clema Gómez y vaig néixer a Barcelona, la capital de Catalunya. Catalunya és un país molt petit, però d'una gran bellesa, pels seus paisatges, però sobretot per la seva gent. Catalunya és al costat d'Espanya, que és un país germà, amb qui hem compartit moltes etapes de la nostra història. Però fa uns anys estan molt emprenyats entre ells, i és dolorós veure germans en lluita. I és per això que vull expressar aquest cap d'any 2020, l'absurditat de la guerra, de la violència i de la lluita pel poder. Jo sóc independentista. Això vol dir que crec que tots els pobles i cultures del món tenen dret a autogestionar-se, a escollir les seves lleis i representants, a desenvolupar la seva pròpia llengua, cultura i tradicions. Si hagués una persona sola que volgués proclamar el seu estat independent, jo hi votaria a favor. Imagino que la raó és que no crec gaire en els estats. Per tant, no sóc nacionalista. Crec en la diversitat dels pobles 
i les persones i en la diversitat de totes les espècies animals i vegetals sobre la Terra. Penso que tots som germans i tots tenim els mateixos drets a viure en pau i a ser respectats. Podria veure els boscos verds i les muntanyes plenes de flors i d'herbes aromàtiques. Podria veure el mar blau, sa i bullint de vida. Podria veure un planeta sense fronteres, on tots compartíssim els nostres coneixements i els nostres instruments, perquè tothom pogués viure sense manca de recursos, feliços i en pau. I aleshores ens podríem reunir per les festes entre pobles, entre amics. Potser al costat de la natura generosa, una natura generosa perquè també és feliç, perquè és respectada i estimada. I aleshores aquesta natura ens regalaria coses tan simples i tan meravelloses com és el plaer de poder mirar les estrelles o l'aire fresc a la galta. Una alba prenyada de mil colors. Podríem sentir les papallones riure i olorar l'aroma de les roses i de la farigola i gaudir de la cursa dels cavalls en llibertat. La llibertat. La llibertat comença amb el respecte a l'altre. Ens havien ensenyat que la nostra llibertat acaba on comença la llibertat de l'altre. Acaba. Doncs sempre estava limitada. I penso que això ens ha fet sentir-nos sofagats entre fronteres hostils i amenaçadores. Semblava que la llibertat de l'altre ens apagava. Penso de veritat que ho hem de veure al contrari com una zona de confiança i de serenor. El saber que hi ha altres persones al nostre voltant que poden compartir amb nosaltres les seves idees, els seus desitjos, els seus riures, abraçades i el seu amor. La nostra llibertat comença quan respectem a l'altre. Al meu país, avui, el dia de cap d'any, menjant rei. Quan és gairebé l'hora de canviar d'any, a les 12 de la nit, els catalans es reunim amb les persones estimades al voltant d'un campanar, o molt a prop, o en una casa, per sentir les campanes que anuncien el canvi d'any. Ara també les sentim per la televisió. Les campanes de tots els pobles i de totes les ciutats sonen. Primer els quatre quarts, després una campanada per cada hora de les dotze. A cada campanada, els catalans mengem un raïm. A cada raïm demanem un desig. Així, aquest any, jo menjaré tots els raïms i a cada campanada demanaré un desig. Pau arreu al món que s'aturin totes les guerres, que no hi hagi catàstrofes naturals, que tothom tingui menjar, que tothom pugui viure lliurement, que les persones siguem menys egoistes, que estimem i ens sentim estimats, que podem ajudar els altres, que cuidem l'aigua de la terra, que cuidem els boscos, que deixem de matar animals massivament, que comprenem el regal que és la vida. Bon any 2021 a tothom. Adéu. It follows from the special theory of relativity that mass and energy are food, are but different manifestations of the same thing. A somewhat unfamiliar conception for the average mind. Furthermore, the equation E is equal to mc squared, in which energy is part equal to mass 
multiplied with the square of the velocity of light showed that very small amount of mass may be converted into a very large amount of energy and vice versa. The mass and energy were in fact equivalent. According to the formula mentioned above, this was demonstrated by Cochrane and Walton in 1932 experimentally. الحركة والسكون إلا بإذن الله والبركة فيك تكون كي تستقنع باللي عطاك واستر عليك يدوم وكي تدعي يقول إن شاء الله بيبان الله كتير كلش عنده ساهل يرزق عبده بالخير ويعلم في القلب الداخل ما تتنوى ما تحير ما تكونش تاني جاهل ما تدري واش يصير الفاهم دي معاقل ما بين كاف النون يفتح ربي برضاع ولا تكون وين تكون مريح ولا في شقاك البارح ماشي كل يوم وغضوة نهار يجيبو خيره معه الحركة والسكون إلا بإذن الله والبركة فيك تكون كي تتقنع باللي عطاك واستر عليك يدوم وكتدا يقول إن شاء الله مع القدرة واش تدير وزمان فيك يقابل ما عندك باش تطير كونك فاهم وعاقل فضل إله كبير بالك تنسى يا غافل على كلش قادير ويسلك اللي حاصل البركة في القليل الناس بيها تتمائل تقنع القليل واللي هو يستاهل يا النايم فيق وقوم وشكر الله بالخير اللي عطاه الحركة والسكون إلا بإذن الله والبركة فيك تكون كي تستقنع باللي عطاك واستر عليك يدوم وكي تدا يقول إن شاء الله يا ربي الحنين نحير يدقة الخاطر يزها قلبي في الحين ترزقني باللي حاضر لا تبغي يا الكريم انت عندك كل سهل سبحان الله العظيم اللي في ملكه يأمر نطلبك يا الجليل في قلبي راني صابر نطلبك طول الليل وفكري ديما معاك هكذا وعدي مخدوم والمكتوب هكذا ما لقيت الادواه الحركة والسكون إلا بإذن الله والبركة فيك تكون كي تتقنع باللي عطاك واستر يدوم عليك وكي تدعي قول إن شاء الله This is a message to the messages Can you really believe this or can't you? Hello, I'm the 
it's exactly midnight in York, UK. Happy New Year, Happy New Decade. Fireworks are going off. Planet Earth sending you love, expressing determined telepathic resistance for freedom of mind, for peace, for a higher consciousness shared by us all, for prosperity and abundance joy, a better world, sending you love, Roger over, and happy new decade. coronavirus to leave and we should just obey instruction and what Mahama and our president Nana Akupado said we should do what they said so that we can, we can have peace in the country thank you <laughs> sensações e pensamentos que poderiam atravessar toda a fronteira se fosse eu agora mesmo procurar a palavra mais adequada para expressar tudo isso. Mas talvez as palavras não sejam tão importantes nesse momento. Estar presente, sim. 
estar presente para mim é talvez a expressão de maior liberdade que posso ter. De poder estancar e parar um pouco de pensar no que está por vir, de me deleitar tanto em minhas lembranças a ponto de esquecer de pisar no chão <risos> nesse contexto do que a gente vive. A gente está vivendo uma pandemia. Aqui no Brasil a situação foi mais cabulosa do que eu imaginava, mas ainda assim é uma realidade, está acontecendo, eu sinto, e essa realidade brasileira e do mundo, né, dentro desse aprisionamento impositor da identidade, né, faz a gente experimentar tudo isso com uma intensidade específica que pode sim ser semelhante a qualquer uma outra, mas que não se expressa por palavras. Eu gostaria de desejar a vocês toda a minha sinceridade, toda a minha tranquilidade, que estejam tranquilos, que estejam presentes, que vivam, que construam, que imaginem, que tornem a realidade que nós criamos, que nós decretamos, que nós construímos, né? A oportunidade para degustar o que é de mais sublime em toda esta realidade. Então eu desejo isso a vocês. Eu desejo isso de todo o meu coração. Eu desejo a vocês a oportunidade de sentir, de encontrar dentro de si mesmos as respostas, de encontrar saída, de encontrar força, sabe? Eu desejo a vocês que se lancem no mundo, se conectem neste mundo, que tornem a realidade uma realidade progressista, uma realidade poderosa, uma realidade em que o poder está com as pessoas, com os sujeitos humanos, humanas, reais, que vivem, que vivem, que negociam, que experimentam, né, a partir dos seus próprios estímulos, uma realidade difusa, confusa e local, né? e ao mesmo tempo se concretizando no local, nas localidades, nas periferias, nas grandes cidades, nos campos rurais, nas praias, nos litorais e no interior. Eu desejo paz a todos vocês. Paz. Paz com esse sentimento de se sentir presente, de estar presente de sentir a partir disso o elevo de estar vivo, capaz de conectar-nos com, conectar com todo, com toda essa imensidão que significa ser humano, estar humano e conviver humano, né? conviver social. Eu, em minhas poucas palavras, tenho na realidade a grande intenção de dizer para vocês, para criar, para inventar o que pudesse inventar, já que todo esse ditado diz quase nada sobre o que de fato viu. Eu sou quem? Sou um pergaminho, sou uma estátua, sou um objeto muito claro do que eu sou de fato. Eu sou na realidade o que nós somos. Nós somos o que de fato que cada um de nós é. Tudo isso tem um sentido, um significado e se produz dentro do próprio livro, experiência natural e humana. Opa, já deixa de ser natural por causa disso. Mas que intriga, que se forma, que se balança, né? Por, por exprimir, por colocar, por trazer para o tabuleiro do jogo, na realidade, performances um tanto primitivas ou naturalizadas. Né? reproduzindo uma espécie, um modo de mundo social que faz a gente se dar conta e reconhecer o quanto é importante criar, fazer, inventar. É um modo de desmantelar, diluir esses poderes institucionais que atravessaram o tempo e o espaço, esmagando a massa da nossa sociedade e alienando todos os seus ambientes e esferos. Eu quero dizer a vocês que sim, essa é a realidade. 
Essa é a realidade objetiva que degustamos no macrocosmos de nossa experiência. Mas a nossa experiência é fundamentalmente composta pela realidade cotidiana que a gente vive. E é essa, essa, essa liberdade, essas atitudes, essas ações que, no final das contas, né? já que estar presente ou viver de fato implica sobretudo ter tempo para desligar a mente para se desimpedir para se sentir menos arisco para se permitir, digamos tem que ter esse tempo e é esse tempo que deve ser nossa luta a luta para que nós tenhamos esse tempo e para que as pessoas tenham esse tempo a gente precisa de tempo nosso mais valioso recurso e nós precisamos de tempo, tempo para se entender, tempo para viver, tempo para experimentar. E viva o tempo e viva esta canção da humanidade que se move na trilha muito existencial, que esperambula toda essa nossa percepção viva, que nos torna crente e que nos faz movimentar todo esse planeta. Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite Aonde quer No mundo que vocês que me escutam Nesse momento estejam Eu sou Cássio Bonfim Sou de Recife Capital do estado de Pernambuco Nordeste do Brasil Colado no Atlântico No futuro e no passado Eu desejo para todo o universo inclui, mas também a outras forças, energias e dimensões terrenas, hiperterrenas, extra, trans, ocidente, oriente, interplanetário, 2020 de busca pelo futuro, por curas, por resoluções, por justiça, por uma caminhada em direção à liberdade humana, se não conquistada, mas utópica e, e enquanto direção para que a gente sempre a busque sem cessar. Quero desejar um 2021 de muita prosperidade, mas uma prosperidade não na leitura atravessada pela epistemologia do capital, mas sim uma prosperidade espiritual e de psique e relacional a gente tem visto cada vez mais degringolar, cada vez mais não funcionar dentro do que são os sistemas e parâmetros de, de convivência no ocidente desejo ver um, um 2021 para além da cura, para além da possibilidade da vacina para além para, da possibilidade de tratamentos esses atravessados por interesses industriais, farmacológicos eu quero ver um 2021 onde a gente descubra alternativas de, de saneamento corporal que envolva alimentação, é, alimentação, exercícios, saúde financeira, saúde mental, tempo, capital, privacidade. Eu quero desejar um 2021 onde a cor da pele tenha menos impacto no que é a sessão ou não de crédito para pequenos empreendedores, da compreensão da representatividade não como essa entidade ou processo ou fenômeno que escolhe alguns corpos, alguns indivíduos para mantê-los vivos e sobre evidência e, e retirar o que é possível numa continuidade de cultura extrativista que já vem se perdurando há séculos. Que essa representatividade envolva uma congruência, se não violenta, radical, mas que tenha uma intenção mais assertiva da inclusão dentro do que seria o campo da não vulnerabilidade. E ao invés da gente ter 500 pessoas de pele escura no Brasil, por exemplo, que aparecem na TV e que têm suas vidas salvas através do capital que acumulam 
e que repassam parte deles não coincidentemente para estruturas maiores presididas ou capitaneadas por brancos, a gente tenha menos crimes por agentes do Estado assassinando e dando continuidade a um genocídio secular de jovens negros no Brasil. Que a gente veja a natureza respeitada, inclusive pelo gestor da nação, ao invés de zombeteada. Que a gente veja em 2021 uma nova geração para além do, do, de todas as classificações de índice de consumo, focada na realidade, uma realidade que é construída através de pilares realmente democráticos, ao invés do cinismo corrente que até agora durou a história como é contada ocidental. Que a gente sinta cada vez menos em 2021 as barreiras de informação que nos mantêm distanciados, as, as barreiras de políticas que nos deixam distanciados e que um cidadão brasileiro tenha a mesma facilidade de entrar no avião e ir para as capitais europeias ou norte-americanas para ir nas capitais do outro lado do, do Atlântico, na Grande África, ou para outros países da América Latina, que apesar de existir voos e, e roteiros turísticos pré-estabelecidos, não é, não, não, não é possível ainda de ser chamado de popular, de acessível uhum. para uma parcela significativa da população. Que em 2021 a tomada de consciência de classe e de raça se atravessem para que a gente construa um ambiente onde a sociedade consiga enxergar o porquê das greves, ao invés de ser vulnerável à manipulação da grande mídia, essa comprada pelos empresários. E que a gente veja casos de corrupção, de corrupção punidos finalmente. E que a gente veja em 2021 uma nova era de moralização do sistema judiciário brasileiro, agora desencapado em seu, em seu cinismo, que, que deixa ver uma estrutura de manutenção de poderes locais e, e numa dimensão maior em tamanho de Estado nacional. E daqui de Recife, daqui a pouco Bahia, para onde sigo logo quando virar o ano, Vou manter o coração aberto na esperança de que, se a gente não visualizar ou chegar a vivenciar esse novo mundo que começa com certeza nesse próximo ano, que as crianças que nascem a partir de então possam dar continuidade a esse trabalho de busca por essa realidade. Saudações de Recife, eu sou Cássio Bonfim e mando um abraço e um cheiro para todo mundo que está me ouvindo agora. Bom dia, boa alvorada, feliz ano novo, feliz ano novo, feliz 2021, quem diria? Aqui estamos. Bandeira não quer que eu sambe aqui, viola não quer que eu vá me embora, rolou bandeira. Estrada do mundo tem um atalho. Minha alma vigilante espia. Por toda esfera. Barreira 
and may we engage our own creative power of intention to consciously make the transitional shift. We are in a time of transition from the old into the new. The year 2020 has been just that. We have seen as the world came to a halt all that needs to shift and that shift starts within us. Here is a prayer to the Great Mother, who is in all things, who creates and supports all. Our Mother who goes by many names, your love is spread like a mantle upon all the inhabitants of the earth. May I, through my intention, be restored into that energy of love. May I, through my intention, be restored into the energy of prosperity and beauty. May I, through my intention, forgive myself for existing in a state of disconnection from your love, prosperity, and beauty. May I, through my intention, open my eyes to all the blessings imaginable inherent in being alive. May I allow these blessings to flow into my life now so that I live in joy, happiness, health, prosperity, and harmony with life. May I, through my intention, be a blessing onto the earth through my thoughts, my words, and my actions. May I be reborn into the light of my higher self and awaken to the energies and blessings that are all around me, offering me opportunities to be and live according to my deepest soul desire. May I always, through my intentions, choose the freedom to be in harmony with the magic of life. And so it is.
Allora, la cara amica Daniela Fiorentino. <ride> Claudia, ciao! Ma... Ma... Allora, facciamo auguri per tutta la planeta che... che... Termine son cycle, toi tu dis en italien, qui termine son cycle de 2020. Sì, es esatto, siamo arrivati alla fine di questo anno così turbolento il 2020 e quindi facciamo un augurio eh, di, a tutti voi perché davvero possiate liberarvi di tutti i fastidi che avete accumulato nel 2020 e aprirvi a un buon, una nuova rinascita nel 2021, no? Allora, è stato anche un anno di semplicità esatto sì. un anno molto sì più, piuttosto sobrio senza grandi eh, e, eventi sen, senza trucco senza, senza camera o lighting è uh, vero siamo andati all'essenza all'essenza di, di, di noi stessi no? abbiamo eliminato il superfluo like us andiamo a fare uh, veloce veloce mandare uh, auguri di felicità, di creatività a, a tutta la pianeta, ma anche alla mia, alla mia famiglia e amici che stanno in Italia, a Roma, nel Veneto, uh, a, uh, uh, anche uh, nel sud, uh, in, voglio dire in Catanzaro, provincia di Catanzaro, Santa Caterina e, e, e Isca, sull'Ionio. Allora, buon anno! <ride> Hai tante anime italiane, ce l'hai in giro per l'Italia, tutti i parenti e, <ride> e gli amici, ah, è vero. Napoli. Cosa dici? Napoli. Sì, 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 no, Napoli mi manca molto in questo periodo perché ovviamente anche per il clima e per la festa che normalmente si fa, perché devi sapere che una delle tradizioni del 31 dicembre, proprio tipicamente italiane, ma tipicamente del sud Italia, forse i tuoi parenti della Calabria te lo confermeranno, è proprio eh, i cosiddetti spari, i botti, i fuochi d'artificio, diciamo per rendere per essere più eleganti, cioè tutti si attrezzano per mh, festeggiare anche con questa esplosione di luci, di fuoco. Eh, ovviamente bisogna farle in maniera prudente perché it's not always safe, se pas toujours sécuritaire, bisogna essere molto molto eh, prudenti nell'utilizzare questi, eh, questi, questi botti, però è un modo proprio per festeggiare e penso che quest'anno chissà eh, mancherà un po' questa atmosfera, a me mancherà sicuramente tanto perché da anni che io festeggio il Natale, il Capodanno. Eh, con, le, con la mia famiglia al sud, ma è una tradizione che magari potremmo prendere anche qui a Montreal, no? Vogliamo anche salutare la mia famiglia in Italia, qua a Montreal la comunità italiana è molto, eh, ma anche in Vancouver, negli Stati Uniti, eh, sì. anche, anche in Argentina, comunque questo è un una festa che si, che si, che si celebra di tutto il mondo, su tutta la pianta. Allora, eh, ben voilà, ci abbiamo... On est tous liés, on est tous liés, vraiment, dans des différentes euh, plages horaires, mais tout le monde est comme, euh, ensemble dans, cette, dans ce désir de se, de, de se livrer, de, 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 de renaître, de fêter, accueillir la nouveauté dans, dans notre vie en fait, puisque c'est nous qui dirigeons la nouveauté, le changement, le pouvoir du changement dans, dans notre futur proche qui arrive. Ouais. Avanti Avanti Alors voilà, ça fait 5 minutes 15 déjà, 5 uh, minutes some to just wish a wonderful, happy um, new year, a wonderful new year with, uh, again, we've uh, learned resilience. Let's hope we don't have to um, go through this much longer, but at least we've acquired some tools. Um, anyway, um, much love to everyone in uh, Argentina, in the United States, and everywhere, all the Italians everywhere, but also all the other um, cultures around the world. A very happy 2021. Daniela, è stato un onore di fare questo con te, di mandare i saluti, auguri italiani, che facciamo la parte italiana, ci sono auguri di, di, di 
tutte le parti del mondo. Allora... Sì, davvero, grazie Claudia per avermi dato questa occasione, io mi accodo a te con gli auguri davvero a tutte le culture del mondo, siamo uniti e anche e soprattutto al nostro cuore che batte in Italia. <ride> grazie. Any wishes to everybody? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Joyeux Nouveau, Nouvel An a tout le monde! E buon anno! Buon anno! Ciao! Ciao cara! Allora! Avant che la parata hors de l'obscurité en la réalité M'entends-tu Où est la voix Où est la voix qui chante La consigne n'a pas changé. 
C'est bien là le drame. La planète d'année en année a tourné de plus en plus vite. Et la consigne n'a pas changé. Alors Alors maintenant qu'elle fait un tour par une minute, je n'ai plus d'une seconde de repos. J'allume et j'éteins une fois par minute. Ça c'est drôle, les jours chez toi durent une minute. Ce n'est pas drôle du tout. Ça fait déjà un mois que nous parlons ensemble. Un mois Oui, 30 minutes, 30 jours. Bonsoir. Et la ralluma son réverbère. Le petit prince le regarda. Et il aima cette allumeur qui était tellement fidèle à la consigne. Il se souvint des couchers de soleil que lui-même allait autrefois chercher en tirant sa chaise. Il voulut aider son ami. Tu sais je connais un moyen de te reposer quand tu le grand. Je veux toujours, car on peut être à la fois fidèle et paresseux. Ta planète est tellement petite que tu en fais le tour en trois jours journée. Tu n'as qu'à marcher assez lentement pour rester toujours au soleil. Quand tu voudras te reposer, tu marcheras. Et le jour durera aussi longtemps que tu voudras. Ça ne m'avance pas à grand chose. Que j'aime dans la vie c'est dormir. Ce n'est pas de chance. Ce n'est pas de chance. Bonjour. Et il était mis son réverbère. Celui-là, se dit le petit prince, tandis qu'il poursuivait plus loin son voyage, celui-là serait méprisé par tous les autres, par le roi, par le vaniteux, par le buveur, par le businessman. Cependant, c'est le seul qui ne me paraît pas ridicule. C'est peut-être parce qu'il s'occupe d'autre chose que de soi-même. Celui-là est le seul dont juste de faire le mieux. Mais sa planète est vraiment trop petite. Il n'y a pas de place pour deux. Ce que le petit prince n'osait pas s'avouer, c'est qu'il regrettait cette planète bénie à cause, surtout, des 1440 couchers de soleil par 24 heures. Pendant que les bateaux font l'amour et la guerre avec l'eau qui les broie, pendant que les ruisseaux dans le secret des bois deviennent des rivières, moi, 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 je t'aime, je t'aime, je t'aime, j'ai le vino. Mais c'est pas ça le temps. Shiva Shaktya Yukto Yedi Bhavati Shaktaha Prabhavitu Bonjour, 
Kill him again, give me a minute. Swap him up. Nin misin bir güvenliğine bulunan dok kilim ağa gelmesin bir güven. Tımarca mı oyunu nene? My name is Will. Asan Anishinaabe nene. A man residing on Anishinaabe territory of the Atikamek Sheng. My traditional territory of my ancestors is the eastern shores of Lake Superior. I work at the University of Sudbury and I bring greetings from the land of the Anishinaabe. How important it is this time of the year, the change as one is celebrating New Year's into 2001. For the Inishabek, it's a continual cycle. Every winter, we bring that time together for family to gather. That snow on the ground is putting all that which is alive asleep. And it's that time that snow is on the ground that we share stories, that families come together and teachings are given. One of the strong teachings are of the seven grandfather teachings. As we recognize how important it is, we celebrate those teachings. The teachings of respect, love, truth, courage, humility, honesty, and wisdom. Each in their own respective way celebrates their own teachings of how important it is. And in this time, in this era, humility is the biggest. How humility is a wonderful tool if we take that time to understand. The Vaudan is a win, is that humility. And it's a celebration when we take care and recognize the need of others over ourselves. As we move into this new year, as we celebrate this time of winter, the Anishinaabeg people recognize the importance of sharing, sharing our food, sharing our land, sharing our resources, sharing our teachings, our connections to the stars and to the cosmos and to the land and to the earth. As we celebrate in that song that we sing in that beginning, in that welcoming, that we say, again, that is welcome. More specifically, being again is that so that we all come together for us to benefit mutually. Hey, be being again. Oh, hey, ah, be being again. Hey, be being again. Oh, hey, ah, be being again. Hey, be being again. Chimi quich garbage all in, garbage all in. Oh, hey, ah, hey, ah, garbage all in. We celebrate in that song, we invite and ask that of the Creator to guide us, to walk with us, to show us how important it is that coming together is the strength that we bring. As a Nishnabek, as the Atikamik Shing and Nishnabek land that I reside on, we celebrate our connection to the land, but how important it is that we celebrate our connection to all of creation. And we say that to all that are out there with that humility, the Baudan Dizawin. That is a tool that gets us through winter. We are humbled by the fact that we cannot control the weather. We cannot control the actions and the deeds or misdeeds of others. But we can, with our own humility, recognize our actions are there to benefit others. As we celebrate in this winter, the moon and the goon is on the ground. That snow is that blanket to keep us humble. I pass this on to all those ends of the universe that we welcome our ancestors. Our ancestors in the stars, Nang, those ancestors in the Giwe de Nang, that going home star, reminds us when we finish our cycle in this earth, we will travel back to where our ancestors come from, and that is the stars. Which
matters are superfluous. Alone and naked, we negotiate all of life's travails. Therefore, we alone must make something of ourselves, transforming ourselves into the instruments for experiencing the deepest spiritual essence of life. Once we make our decision, all things will come to us. Auspicious signs are not a superstition, but a confirmation. They are a response. It is said that if one chooses to pray to a rock with enough devotion, even that rock will come alive. In the same way, once we choose to commit ourselves to spiritual practice, even the mountains and valleys, the whole universe will reverberate to the sound of our purpose. What are hours and days? It is the seconds that count. One, two, three, four. Gone as you count them. They say we have two billion and seventy-five thousand of them. A million seconds, eleven days. A billion seconds, thirty-one years. Seconds countable, yet we do not count them. We glide through them like it's a construct, known to us only because of our beating heart, appearing in promises made and aspirations held, and along the journey from pain to numbness, connecting the linear and cyclical, the mere locus of staying the same distance from a powerful center but in continuous motion. Time. How you move. Why leave Earth? What does one bring out there? What does one bring back? How do humans inhabit outer space, extreme outer space?
humans interlink with their environment in a continual interaction of physiochemical, biological, and social active forces fused into a single organic evolving entity. Technology homogenizes, controls the conditions of environments, it monitors and cares, anticipates the needs, extends the human body's capacity. Yet the body searches for thresholds, ways to appear and disappear, to exit, free itself. Humans are disposable to binary robotic norm of digital technology dominated by a capitalist imperialist value taking over the universe a strategy of scorched earth an expansion by all means without remorse humans submit dissolve to exonomy the economy of exit Humans escape to perpetrate sovereignty, to maintain a control over others, over environments. They reach the moon, extend themselves, but where to? There is simply nowhere to go. complex of mutual dependencies with the environment they inhabit. When these bonds loosen, the sensory and social apparatus, body rhythms, the political, the economic and social power dynamics reorder themselves. A stable, hermetic, impenetrable separation protects humans from any environment. Architecture provides these perfect, homogeneous, controlled, comfortable, and stable conditions. A bubble for self-sufficiency within a hospitable nature or the extreme dead setting of outer space. Architecture can also act as a dynamic threshold conducive to the emergence of life, necessary to maintain life. At the point of dynamic impact, tension, and varying pressure between a human, natural, and technological environment, processes of life emerge. Stepping into the stratosphere, Penetrating a dead environment at the meeting of inner and outer space, architecture can generate a movement of life, triggering a constant co-adaptation of humans and their environment. Within dead outer space, technological, human, and natural environments co-emerge as a hybrid totality made of dynamic organic interrelations. Humans evolving within these are the new frontier.
Luminous and gold, the sun that sleepy dogs the footsteps of the child. 
everyone. Uh, I'm Andrew Brown, a poet living on Vancouver Island, and uh, I'm going to read for me tonight from my third book, which is called Shadow Road, and um, I write primarily poetry, but this first piece is a little bit of microfiction called Wind Spirits. Wind Spirits were manifest in the night. I could see the twisted faces inside the wind, the way one sees dragons in the crests of waves on a rough sea. I was a counselor, a caballero, a courier of messages. I encountered this haunted wind at the extremity of our frontier, the rugged lands of the border region, and recognized its threat to our country. I knew it would destroy us, and so I brought this news to the villages and towns on my way back to the city of golden statues, where our king lived. People were skeptical, most of them mocked me outright, and my warnings went unheeded. What do you know of the winds or of spirits, for that matter? You were just a messenger, not a sage. The lesser nobles at court laughed in my face. It was received as some sort of backcountry superstition. They treated this news as a tale that an old man might tell around a campfire to frighten children. I lost all credibility at court as well. I gave up my position as the king's trusted messenger. My courier services were no longer required. And so I retired to my rural home where I lived alone raising what few fowl I could afford on the meager pension the king provided. I knew I would never return to court. There was nothing left to do but wait. It was not long after that the storms began. The killing winds took region after region as they moved in from the borderlands where I had first encountered them. Someone at court remembered my warning, but, it, but by then it was too late. Wild winds ravaged each district one after another, and the few people who survived spoke of the horrible voices and twisted spirits who could be both heard and seen in the winds. When the wind swept through our village, I was the only one left alive. They had considered me an insane eccentric when I first built my house. An underground dwelling it was, with a door camouflaged with brush so that only a few chosen friends could even find it. They were few indeed, and none of them survived, either as they had not heeded my advice and continued to live in their conventional houses above ground. I was spared when the winds came. I heard voices and saw the twisted spirits with my eye pressed to a crack between the boards of my rough-hewn trap door. I saw the spirits destroy all that was above ground as they passed by me over the door I built flush to the earth. I dream of, of them still, though I would give anything to be free of such nightmares. They are my legacy now, and I am lord of an empty land. Now uh, I'll read something a little bit uh, lighter, uh, lighter hearted. Um, for many people, uh, Christmas is a little bit difficult, uh, especially this last one we just went through. This is called Buddha Solves Christmas. Buddha has been retired from our mantle. He would have dwarfed the crash that had taken over his spot. It would have been a tough go for him to meditate with all those damned camels, shepherds, wise men, etc. crowding him out. 
quote, We are not Christian, but once a year we trot out all the paraphernalia, baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph, angels on the hearth, more angels in the Christmas tree among the candy canes and twinkling lights. It's a traffic jam of kitchen Christianity, which takes over our house every December. Yes, things are getting pretty aggressively Christmas around here. Not to mention my wife, who is currently baking enough cookies, bars, tarts, rum balls, date balls, sugar plums to feed all of Guatemala and the southern half of Mexico. And she's wrapping presents, more and more tissue around books, tapes, toys, boxes of Turkish delight, and I too am swept up in the fury of this Christmas season, writing cards till my fingers cramp or until I reach the end of the alphabet, whichever comes first. I start rapping, but soon it's time to go out for supper with friends, and when we come home, she starts up again with the rapping, while I take a glass of wine downstairs and watch a movie just to get away from the high-speed commuter train of Christmas which started out slow on December 1st, but is now hurtling down the tracks headlong and barely under control. People run away from Christmas, and I understand why. They go to Arizona, Palm Springs, or Hawaii, anywhere they can escape to. But Buddha just went underground. He went into the closet in the dining room, and he softly chanted, Om. Om in the darkness there. But for a lack of space, I join him, curl into the darkness, and chant through the shortest days of the year, emerge again in mid-January, once the last rum ball has been eaten, and the dead Christmas tree has been hauled out to the curb. So, uh... I thought I'd uh, honor our national poet with a poem. Uh, he was still alive when I wrote this poem. Um, this is called Playing Pool with Leonard Cohen. I wonder if Leonard Cohen ever played pool, sunk the eight ball off a cushion bounce in the near corner pocket, a galois of fuming blue smoke between his lips. I wish I'd been in Montreal in the late 50s, to step into a back alley with him to share some reefer or sip scotch from a silver hip flask. He might have pulled a crumpled paper from his inside jacket pocket and read me an uncertain early draft of Suzanne or Hey, That's No Way to Say Goodbye. Two poets reading work under a summer moon. He might have known my older brothers. That's how we could have met. Or maybe we'd gone to the same high school or been neighbors. Doesn't matter, we were sharing some grass in the glass strewn alley of a warm June night in Montreal, telling each other the poems that were inside us then, blowing smoke rings out into the blackness and watching them hang above the glow of a streetlight with the clack of balls and disappointed late night voices wafting out of the pool hall's back door, mixing with the sound of poetry spoken into the night. And then uh, my last poem, uh, uh, Sarah mentioned there was uh, something of an uh, ecological theme here, so uh, this one is called, I Think of God When I Doubt Trees. Sorry, I think of trees when I doubt God. I think of trees when I doubt God, about their divinity, their holiness, how they watch and listen in silence, how they bless us without words, how they endure swing sets hold up our hammocks, how they hear the endless rabble of our voices as we hike. We who take so much for granted living in Cascadia's forests, carving cities and towns out, of, out along these generous coasts. How the forest must laugh at us in secret. I think I've heard them on days when the wind is just so. When I doubt God, I think of trees. Step off the road, then walk 300 yards into the forest till the car's sounds fade. Lie down among the ferns, 
Find a mossy cleft and let your eyes drift up through all the branches to their crowns. Let the firs guard you. Let the cedars tell you ancient tales. Stories only the wind repeats, ones which the trees know by heart. They will bring them to you as you sleep beneath them. Uh, so I want to just say thank you to uh, Sarah Brown um, for allowing me to speak to you tonight. And uh, once again, Happy New Year to all of you. So, say Happy New Year. Go ahead, Fa Choi. Because they're going to spin it. Oh, no way. Okay, no, cool. tomorrow night. Yeah. Go ahead, Fa Choi. station emanating from San Francisco known as the Combinant Media Lab. Uh, now, we operate a surround traffic control radar tower, which houses our nomadic panoramic performance installation unit known as the Cine Chamber. Splintered, sequestered spectators worldwide. As we move from 2020 through century 21, what will the earth be like by 2023? We have two more years to find out. Closer than we think still very mysterious to decipher authentic truths from our simulated fictions. Will fake lies still matter? I really don't care if it's fake or real, live or memorex, audio or visual. I care about outcome. As an aesthetic customs agent patrolling the borders broken by virulent strains and empty aircraft, we see a fissure in the forest. As the airborne ozone transforms to an Orgona field, a different audio light goes into orbit that warrants our identity. With pause, listen, and contend for a future fast approaching. Embed and disembody. Everything is humming loudly. Duke Ellington, there will always be 
kinds of art. Good art, good bad. Good art will always be a product of human intuition, accident, and skillful resolution, whether the tools are analog or offspring. Could the bad art be more compelling? Whether you're trading in a tempura for oils, or slamming on edits for life's chopping block, it's still very hard to convey the truth. And since we hold these truths, that all pieces are not created equal, it becomes self-evident on which works. We'll stand the test of time. Despite certain critics who might pause on a larger audience's consent. Most of these practitioners try to make something good. It turns out to be simply medium. Or do we try it all? Just leave it wrong and there will be those who believe it's right. Go for the spectators and audiences that are easy to please. Not for the ones want to be impressed, but we are bound to be disappointed most of the time. As far as the lightning speed that technology grows, we are still in the dark ages. We are still in the horse and buggy era for fast rate acceleration. We need to be going billions of lightning. I regret that we are still living at a very primitive pace. To be presently living in the past leads us to grasp with the current technological straws. The spectacles could be profound. Are we looking at software being manipulated or are we being manipulated by software? How much does it matter anyway? Process has perhaps become less and less interesting. Unless it needs to be contained in the product placement. 
And if you brand the product, it could raise some questions too. How concerned should I be on how it got there? Conceptually or otherwise, the theory of AV evolution could be better served if it went back to the Darwinistic drawing board for a makeup. The carcass of AV creations. It's time to raise its stodgy little head. I'd rather revise this story than write about it. Too many words. So little time. eyes and ears. Since the thought of man, we've been dancing around our fires. Now, we spend our time trying to pull, put the fires out. Regulations might prohibit their spreading. Other media spreads her legs. What will really penetrate and fertilize is Change.
Hello, hello. This is Pragnia from San Francisco, wishing everyone a very happy new year. Wishing that the earth, the water, the animals get the resources they need to survive and thrive. Wishing that we have taken the time to learn and unlearn things that will help us in this endeavor. Here's looking forward to the changes that are coming in the next year. Cheers. Happy 2021. It's here. 2020 is over. And um, I hope that all the pain and disease and isolation associated with 2020 also fades away. And I hope 2021 brings you happiness and connection and adventure and travel and community um, and just joy. And uh, wherever you are in the world, have the best year. Les voyages de Roux et de Hina. Que ceux qui voient au loin et qui se tiennent debout sur terre se lèvent et voient Théa au-dessus d'eux, qu'il regarde vers le sol et contemple le front de Tétoum, qu'il regarde la mer de Tefatou Moana. Tel était le chant en l'honneur de Roux et de Hina, les deux enfants d'Athéa et de Kotu. Roux, qui s'était blessé en tentant d'ériger le ciel au point de devenir bossu et de laisser ses intestins s'envoler dans le ciel de Bora Bora, jouissait à présent des plaisirs simples de la vie. Il habitait avec sa sœur Hina à Rayatea, au Motutapu, et passait son temps en mer, à bord de sa pirogue Théa Non loin de là, à Tutara'a à Hina, Hina, elle, passait ses journées à battre le papa. Un matin, Roux emmena sa sœur à bord de sa pirogue. Il était assis à l'arrière, sa rame en main pour gouverner, et Hina se tenait à l'avant pour prévenir son frère des différents pâtés de corail à éviter. Dans un premier temps, il posa les limites du monde en baptisant les points cardinaux. Ensuite, Ils prirent la direction du soleil levant. Ils arrivèrent à Tahiti et à Moréa, qu'ils repérèrent par le sud, par le nord, par l'est et par l'ouest. Hina louait la majesté de ces îles, leur faune et leur flore. Puis ils firent cap vers Aotearoa, la Nouvelle-Zélande, avant de revenir vers leur Hawaii natal. En chemin, ils rencontrèrent de nouvelles îles. « Je te conduis vers une nouvelle terre, » chanta Roux à sa pirogue Théa Pogi. « Garde ton cap vers Maupiti. »« Quelle est cette terre ?» s'écria Hina depuis la poupe. « C'est Maupiti. »« Son surnom sera Maupiti depuis toujours. » À bord de Théa Pogi, Hina et Roux reconnurent et nommèrent ainsi toutes les îles sous le vent qui reçurent chacune un surnom. Ainsi, Bora Bora devint Bora Bora la première née. Bora Bora à la pagaie silencieuse, ou encore Bora Bora, la destructrice de pirogue. Depuis ce jour, l'île fut crainte pour sa flotte guerrière, qui pénétrait les lagons sans un bruit. Taha fut nommée Taha au ciel paisible. Quant à Hawaii, elle devient Hawaii au pouvoir étincelant. Leur voyage était alors fini. Ru et Hina étaient retournés à leurs occupations. L'un s'occupant de sa pirogue et l'autre battant le tapin. Une vie qu'ils jugeaient plutôt morte après avoir connu tant d'aventures dans leur voyage transpacifique. Pour vaincre son ennui, Roux fit construire cinq pirogues et prit la mer avec 200 hommes et femmes. Ils mirent le cap vers le couchant et arrivèrent à Aitutaki, aux actuelles îles Cook. Là, il édifia deux marais, un au bord de mer qu'il nomma ou Ariki, et le second dans l'intérieur de l'île. Il baptisa celui-ci Veikuriri. Hina, seule, songeait à repartir, toujours plus loin, toujours plus haut. Un soir, elle leva les yeux au ciel et admira la lune. Songeuse, mais surtout aventureuse, il lui prit l'envie irrésistible de s'y rendre. Elle emprunta la pirogue Théapoli, et s'y rendit. Le voyage fut assez court. La lune circule dans le deuxième ciel, 
soit juste au-dessus de la Terre et en dessous du troisième, où voyage le Soleil ainsi que Vénus, Mercure, Jupiter, Mars et Saturne. Kina s'y sentit bien et décida de s'y installer. Elle se fit dès lors appeler Hina, l'habitante de la Lune. Un bagnant poussait non loin de sa nouvelle demeure. Les ombres et les tâches qu'on voit depuis la Terre sont d'ailleurs cet arbre dont les branches multiples fournissaient à l'époque l'écorce que Hina utilisait pour faire son tapa. Un jour, Hina monta dans son bagnant et brisa une branche. Celle-ci s'écrasa sur terre, à Opopa. Elle y prit racine et devint le premier bagnant du monde des vivants. Depuis lors, on trouve des bagnants dans toutes les îles et Hina est devenue la déesse du tapa, ce tissu végétal que seules les femmes fabriquent. Texte extrait de la mythologie païsienne pour tous d'Alexandre Juster.
Chino.